like Sheila Dixon is talking about, well, let's move them out. Yes, if you keep moving people, when things get rough, move them for you don't have to work on it. Then, then you will have the the most most of South Baltimore moved out. I said, instead of moving us, why don't they try to clean up the toxins? And that's what we're asking you all to do. We're calling for Baltimore to show what it can do when we all come together. We're a city of neighborhoods with a proud civic and cultural fabric. But Baltimore wouldn't be the same if we ripped out Curtis Bay. Just like it wouldn't be the same without your community. That's why we're asking you all to stand up with us and say, let Curtis Bay lead its own development. Don't take it away from us. I'm a resident of Baltimore City. I live in the community of Upton and I work in Curtis Bay. I stand with Curtis Bay and I believe that community should not be displaced because of large industry that is harming them. My name is Jesus. I'm in Lakeland and we stand with Curtis Bay. Don't displace Curtis Bay. This is their home. This is not TSX's home. This is not Bresco's home. These are community members' homes. And we can't have a mayor that completely erases South Baltimore, especially when we have children and families inhaling in toxic fumes and disregarding the public health crisis that's happening. No, no. You, you don't want to displace everybody in um, Curtis Bay. Heck, they live there. Because we love our home just like everybody else loves their home. Even though our home have this toxic, toxic ways and stuff about it, we're trying to get rid of it and trying to live live in a pleasant neighborhood like other people live in a pleasant neighborhood. We can do this together. And when we do, think about all the power that we can create to take on more challenges and shape the city the way we want it to be for all of us. So who's with us?